Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be updating you on the LiPo Kilo, exactly the URUAV LiPo Killer, because I've been using this for the past week now, killing LiPos. Now, one thing that I'm gonna show you right now is obviously I'm doing this in a safe environment in a way, which is in one of these boxes. Now, the reason you see my skateboards on the floor is because I keep them in the middle of the room to make sure if for some reason a battery catches fire, then I have a high probability of not catching the whole place on fire. That is my theory, better than nothing. So everything is in here right now. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at it. Now, one thing that I kind of really don't like is the fact that it really doesn't hit zero volts. Um, it, it will go down to one point something volts and it'll slowly start coming back up again. And then you have to disconnect it and then reconnect it again and then it'll suck, the, it'll drain it out again. So usually it takes about a day, 24 hours to completely drain out a battery for a 1,500 milliamp 4S LiPo. So these are it right here. So far they're good, but what I'm planning on doing is either creating a separate circuit that connects like a plug-in or adding a larger uh, LED array that connects to it somehow in order to increase the current at which it kills the LiPo with basically. However, I don't recommend doing this indoors it's because if you were gonna do the modifications later, I don't know how reliable it would be or how safe it would, it probably won't be safe, but I'm just gonna be doing it, but hopefully you would know what you're doing when I do that and if I do tend, if I do decide to release it. So let's get a closer look at inside the box and show you what I've been doing here. All right, so here's the box. Usually I just leave them in the middle of the room on the floor. I've, I've just got a couple of these and this is the only way that I really would trust these. So as you can tell right now, I have two that's theoretically finished. Everything else that's not connected in here is theoretically finished. And right now I have another one here. So let's go ahead and plug in, for example, this one right here. Let's see what happens. So let's go ahead and see what happens when I plug this one in here. As you can tell, the LED is back on again. And uh, then I'm gonna have to redrain it again. So as you can tell, the LED was back on again. Let's currently get its measurement and see how much this thing measures out. How, many, how much voltage does it have? All right, so measuring it right now, currently I'm reading 5.32 volts. And this happens on all of them right now. I uh, just wanna be very careful while I'm moving this. As you can tell, it's 5.34 volts. I don't know why the camera is mirrored, but I highly doubt it. And as you can tell, it's connected right here. So yeah, 5.3 volts. So the voltage will come back to 5.3 volts and you'll have to redrain it again. Now, saying that, what I wanna do is I wanna take one that's fully uh, dead, basically on the first cycle, and then take it out to the field and actually short circuit and see what happens. I'm not gonna do it indoors, so I'm waiting for the weather to clear up. I'm planning on taking all of these out actually and short circuiting them somehow and then seeing what, what happens so we can get a better idea of what we could expect from a LiPo that's been killed and just auto just came back to life with around five volts because I think it's really good to know because I, to be honest, I've been searching. I couldn't find really much online about it. So that's the reason why I wanna go ahead and do that. So, so far, I would highly recommend them. I've also done uh, the storage charge, which is really nice. You can set it anywhere between three volts to four volts. So that's really cool. And anywhere between by 0.2 volts. Uh, what's really nice about this is when I use it, it actually works really great, but however, I still don't trust it and I just leave it in the middle of the room on the floor. Uh, if you have carpet, don't do that. You probably wanna put it outside or something. But so far, it's working great. I've had no problems. And if I did, you would definitely know. I'll keep you guys updated because I am killing quite a lot of batteries that I've had and I've been scared shitless of for the past six months. And I'm doing this day by day. I come in, I see which one's dead, and then I plug in another one to kill it. So I got three of these. I think three is a good number, but for someone like me, I probably need a little bit more. So I might pick up some or might create some. However, creating some, I'm, I'm afraid to create and share it because I don't know how reliable or how safe it will be. So if you guys want to see me create one that sucks more current a, a bit faster, not too fast, then let me know and then we'll go ahead and make one because uh, I think... Uh, I want one a little bit faster than that, to be honest. And well, that's it guys. I just want to do a little update video on that little URUAV LiPo killer. It's working great so far. I didn't want to do a real review until I've actually used it, killed LiPos, discharged some LiPos. So I've been using it for the past week, like I've said, killing LiPos. Not all of them are right here. However, I still have more in my other shop, which I'm still moving in everything. That will be the true test. That's why I want to also create a way to 
possibly discharge a bit faster. Since I have that safe and my floor is all tile and concrete in that room. Actually, let me go show you what I do with my batteries. I am the type of person that I don't trust batteries at all. And if you take a closer look here, we can see I have a bunch of safes on the floor, depending. I have the good ones together. I have the, I don't trust ones together. So, you know, this is what I'm doing and I need more of those. So soon I'll try to pick up some more because they're pretty expensive. I mean, they're not really expensive, but you, when you're gonna get a lot, they might, you know, come up to be a pretty big total here. I think I have a total of four right now. And one is just for a discharging box here. And I keep all the dead ones in it because I just don't trust lipos. I, I really don't trust lipos at all. And well, that's it guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have a link to this down below if you wanna go ahead and check it out and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out guys.